But I want to start with breaking news. This manhunt for this escaped prisoner, Danilo Cavalcante, stabbed his uh, girlfriend dozens of times in front of her kids, murdered her, spotted at least a dozen times. Can't catch him. Why? Because he's better than they thought. Two weeks out. New images show he's changed his appearance. He's clean shaven, spotted in a stolen white van. But interestingly, he still had the prison pants on. Interesting. We're going to go to the U.S. Marshal first, Robert Clark, for the latest details. Thank you, Marshal. Good evening, Chris. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you for doing the job. What do you want the audience to know about where the thing stands? Well, where we stand, Chris, right now is we still have our U.S. Marshal Service investigators looking into where that van was dumped in East Ant Mill Township. Uh, we're asking the public to be vigilant out there. Should Cavalcanti had dumped that van and is still in the area? Over the woodland search that we conducted here at the Longwood Gardens area, we know he only moved a couple miles in maybe 10 days. And if he's in that wooded area, we still ask the public to be vigilant in keeping their property secured, reporting suspicious activity to the police, and making sure their vehicles are locked in their residence and not in their car. What was going on in this, uh, what is this, ring camera that captured him? What do they, you believe the circumstances were? We believe the circumstances were he was a desperate man. He was able to get a vehicle. He stopped over uh, a previous known associate's house. He was asking for help. He was turned away. He went to another house asking for help. He was turned away. And we believe he drove the van till the wheels fell off and possibly an area he was familiar with before. So that's why we continue to focus our efforts in that area. Uh, we have a team of deputy marshals here, force multiplied by our state and local partners, um, some very intelligent people trying to determine what happened, put the pieces together, and try to get in front of them. A big question. Is somebody helping them? Have any arrests been made? We're not sure if somebody's helping him. I can't definitively, definitively say somebody's been helping him. It's surely a possibility, and we're trying to figure out if somebody helped him once that van was dumped or if he just got out into the woods. But it surely is a possibility someone is helping him. Uh, you mentioned it before, his sister uh, was arrested. Uh, she had an immigration uh, overstay issue. Um, I can tell you that she was less than candid with law enforcement officers uh, to the point it was, it was almost criminal. And therefore, she, we decided she was to be taken out of the equation. But it's very, very possible Calvacante is getting help. And we have investigators working around the clock um, to determine that. Is this guy more than was anticipated uh, when he first escaped and the idea was let him hear his mommy's voice and maybe he'll come out? I, I don't believe he's more than more than what we anticipated when he escaped. I believe that uh, he's a resourceful individual. Uh, I believe that he's a desperate individual. Um, the terrain that he was in, like I said at the press conference earlier, that was kind of his home turf. He was in the jungle, uh, very similar to the jungle where he grew up in Brazil. Um, he knew how to manipulate the environment to his advantage. And that was a large perimeter that we had to cover, over eight square miles. So now that he's in the urban setting, I believe, like I said before, it's advantage law enforcement, it's advantage U.S. Marshal Service. We're very used to these fugitive investigations. The only difference between a fugitive investigation and a manhunt is the amount of people and the resource we have uh, dedicated to it. And his desperateness will never outweigh the perseverance and uh, the resolve of the deputy marshals and the team that we have here. So he will be caught. It's just a matter of time, Chris. In the interviews with the people he went to for help, uh, what were you able to figure out about his goal? Is he trying to get out of the country? What do you think he wants to do? Well, not much was said because everywhere that he went, nobody wanted to have anything to do with him. So uh, there was really no determination of his motive. Um, we can uh, pretty much assure that he wanted assistance. Like you mentioned earlier, very observant. He was still wearing those prison shoes, those prison pants. So we still believe that he's desperate. He's looking for help. Uh, we're warning anyone out there that's willing to help him, you will get locked up, you will go to jail, you will be prosecuted on the federal or the state level. And we still continue to ask the public to be vigilant, uh, especially here in the Chester County area until we have evidence that he's out of the area. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.